Greetings, history enthusiasts. Today, we're off on a journey to one of the world's most mysterious places, Stonehenge. Picture this, ancient rocks, a dash of English countryside, and a whole lot of questions. What's the big deal with these stones, you ask? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Stonehenge isn't just a bunch of old rocks. It's a puzzle waiting to be solved. Who put these stones here and why? Join us as we peel back the layers of time, dig into the mysteries, and maybe, just maybe, uncover a few secrets along the way. So, grab your imaginary detective hats, because Stonehenge, here we come. Get ready for a simple yet mind-bending adventure. The Origins of Stonehenge Let's rewind the clock way back to around 3100 BC, when the seeds of Stonehenge were first planted. Picture this landscape, devoid of the iconic monument we know today. It all began with humble earthworks, a precursor to something much grander. As time marched on, so did the evolution of Stonehenge. The architects of Stonehenge started small, but their vision expanded. Fast forward to 2600 BC, and the first stones, the blue stones, made their appearance. But here's the kicker. They weren't from around here. These massive rocks, some weighing several tons, were transported from Wales. Now, as impressive as that sounds, Stonehenge wasn't satisfied with just blue stones. The Sarsens, those colossal sandstone blocks, entered the scene around 2400 BC. And get this, they're local celebrities. Quarried from just a few miles away, they were shaped and arranged into the iconic structure we recognize today. The origins of Stonehenge may be veiled in mystery, but one thing's for sure. Its birth was a labor of determination and ancient engineering brilliance. Construction and Architecture Now that we've glimpsed into the ancient origins of Stonehenge, let's roll up our sleeves and delve into the nuts and bolts of this remarkable monument. Stonehenge wasn't just slapped together. It was a carefully orchestrated symphony of construction and architecture. First off, let's talk stones, the heavyweight champions of Stonehenge. The blue stones, transported from Wales, were the initial stars of the show. But the Sarsens, those massive sandstone blocks, stole the spotlight later. How did our ancestors hold these colossal rocks across the landscape? That's a puzzle that still tickles our curiosity. Stonehenge isn't just a random collection of rocks, it's a cosmic calculator. The alignment of these stones isn't haphazard, it's a testament to ancient astronomical prowess. The sun, the moon, the stars. Stonehenge was like an ancient celestial clock, marking the passage of time. But wait, there's more. Those lintels perched on top of the vertical stones it's like Stone Age carpentry, showcasing an intricate understanding of weight distribution. The layout of Stonehenge evolved over centuries, suggesting a purposeful design that transcended mere functionality. Theories and interpretations. Now, we're about to unravel the secrets of Stonehenge, and trust me, it's a wild ride of ideas and theories. So, why did our ancestors put these gigantic rocks together? Well, people have some seriously cool guesses. Some folks think Stonehenge was like an ancient party spot, a place to gather and celebrate. Imagine it, dancing, chanting, and good vibes under the open sky. Others are convinced it's a sort of ancient calendar, helping our ancestors keep track of time. Sun, moon, stars, Stonehenge was like their high-tech planner. Now, is a curveball burial ground Yup, some smart thinkers believe Stonehenge is where our ancient pals laid their loved ones to rest. Talk about a final resting place with a view. But wait, there's more. Some folks think Stonehenge might have had a touch of magic. Healing powers or maybe even a visit from our cosmic neighbors. Think E.T. but way, way back. So, here's the scoop, friends. Stonehenge is like a super old puzzle and everybody's got a different piece. The cool part, we're still figuring it out, and that's what makes Stonehenge a rock star in the world of ancient mysteries. 
the Stonehenge Inner Circle experience. Hold on to your hats, folks. We're about to spill the beans on an experience that's as exclusive as it gets, the Stonehenge Inner Circle. Imagine this, you, a handful of lucky adventurers and Stonehenge all to yourselves. Let the magical journey begin. So, what's the scoop? The Stonehenge Inner Circle is like the VIP pass of a lifetime. While the regular crowd admires from afar, you and your crew get to step inside the ropes and walk right up to these ancient rocks. It's like being on a first-name basis with history. But wait, there's more. The Stonehenge Inner Circle isn't just a daytime affair. Nope, it gets even cooler. Picture this. The sun setting, the stars winking hello, and Stonehenge bathed in a mystical glow. Yeah, that's the vibe. Now, you might be wondering, how do I snag a ticket to this exclusive party? Well, it's like winning the lottery, but better. Special events, limited spots, it's the golden ticket to historical adventures. But why is the Stonehenge Inner Circle such a big deal? Because, my friends, it's a chance to feel the energy, the magic, and the history up close. It's not just a sightseeing gig, it's a rendezvous with the past. Stonehenge is where history meets the lucky few. As we wrap up our adventure through the mysteries of Stonehenge, we want to know, if you had the chance to visit this ancient wonder, what burning question would you ask? Is there a particular aspect of Stonehenge that intrigues you the most, or perhaps a theory you'd love to explore further? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging content.